Hey guys, it's Iska here back with another painting video. I hope you guys are really enjoying yourselves today. Uh, today I'm going to be painting a river otter floating by in a small stream. Now this one's also from the United States, specifically Seattle. And if you guys didn't know already, uh, this video is going to be my 100 subscriber special. So I'd like you guys, I'd like to thank you guys also very much for thank, um, supporting me along the way on this great journey. And I'd like to continue doing so. So let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the equipment which I'll be using today are Naphthol Scarlet, Yellow Mid, Pathalo Blue, Burnt Sienna and also some Acrylic White. These paints are loaded on my palette right here and they've been mixed in with this Retarder bottle and Gloss Medium. Retarder helps slow the paint dry time and Gloss Medium helps thin the paints out. And I've got a water container and some paper towel handy. Um, now the brushes which I'll be using today are large size 10 flat and a size 12 filbert brush for the background and a fan brush to touch up the reflections in the water um, a smaller size 4 flat header brush a size 0 round brush and a liner for finer details and let's get into the painting alright so to start off I'm going to be mixing um, a dark green mixture using the Pathalo blue some yellow mid and also a bit of um, the red as well now that's going to be really dark to start off with and there's a lot of paint so make sure you feel you have a lot of paint on your brush before you do this and I'm starting in the darkest areas first and working towards the light so just a covering of really dark green a bit bluey as well so you might need to adjust the colour according to the hue you use like so So I'm adding a bit of yellow each time to make the hue dark, lighter from where I started and it doesn't matter if you get a bit of paint on the canvas at this stage because we're going to be going over it in more colours as well. But what's really important is that you've mixed a lot of thinner, like paint thinner, gloss medium or you could be using water, you've mixed a lot of that into your paints for this first layer because they're going to be needing to cover the whole canvas the entirety of the background first, I should say before we add any thicker layers on top so now I'm adding a bit more of that yellow mid and also some acrylic white and you get this nice looking green over here So I'm adding a bit more thinner each time to ensure I'm covering the whole canvas quite thinly. And you can really see those brush strokes coming out at this stage. So notice that the corners are dark, very dark, and I'm working my way towards the centre of the image where the focal point is the lightest point. So this helps the focal point stand out in general against the dark hues of the background.
So I'm adding even a little bit more acrylic white because so, once you get to a certain stage you don't want the background looking too yellow, you want to keep that blue as well. So just adding a bit more acrylic white and dimming it down and there we go. Right, so I'm going to put this in time-lapse mode. You came out searching for a reason Came out looking to throw me around But I'll be holding on forever If only this time you would have to burn me down I crumbled deep into the feeling The feeling that you leave me to drown Yeah, I'm still holding up together So as you can see guys, I've done all of the background and I started on the sea, on the river otter. Um, so I'm mixing up a light brown using the burnt sienna and a combination of a bit of acrylic white and a bit of pathalo blue to darken it, darken it down. And I'm adding this to the hairs of the otter poking above the water. So just fine strokes like this that don't need to be too detailed, just like that. So these are the highlight hairs on the other. And then later on I'm going to go in and add some darker values as well. Though there aren't that many in this case. So the most light is shining here and on the other's head. So the highest concentration of white is going to be around here and here. So I'm going to take some of the acrylic white and finish off the highlights. Now you can't see each of the individual hairs, but you can see groups of hairs together, so make sure you have fine brush strokes to indicate that. Like so. And then add a bit more detail with that here. Now I'm going to mix up a slightly darker shade of the same brown. Just a bit darker, not too much. And I'm going to start be working on the otter that's the part of the otter that's submerged in the water. So here you can't really see much detail, so I'm just adding that in. It's not much detail, but a bit of brush strokes to indicate some of the light that's in the otter. And then the closer you get to the surface, the more detail it is.
Right, so I'll speed this up into time lapse mode. That brings us to the end of this video and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Now the name of this painting is King of the River. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my Instagram as well. Um, now thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers once again and I like to continue doing so. So I hope to see some of you guys in my future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.